Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Avatar The Last Airbender book 2 episode number 11 and 12. Okay, the previous two episodes. Uh, episode number 9 we had uh, a little bit of a thing where Toph was actually kind of not struggling but was unable to figure out how to make Aang learn, you know, the earthbending stuff and from like, you know, with Katara's help and uh, like, you know, Katara is saying that Aang is the type of person who actually gets better if you praise him. <laughs> like, you know, by following that, uh, Toph was able to see the results in Aang's training and that worked out. And I'm guessing Toph will change his her, uh, way of teaching Aang. Uh, and also like the whole thing with Zuko, Zuko trying to learn uh, the lightning technique, but you know, like kind of not being able to do that and uh, all that stuff. And it's like a dangerous thing as well. Uh, like you know, I was told him, so you know that stuff. So that was episode nine. Episode ten. Uh, I think this is the first. I think continuation episode. Like this episode, episode eleven will continue from episode ten, where Ang, uh, not Ang, um, Appa gets captured by the end, gets kidnapped. So I'm going. I'm guessing we're going to find him out in this episode today, track him down and get him back. And there was this whole thing with the owl, I forgot the name of the owl, you know, and like, you know, him, you know, the owl saying that I don't want humans to, like, you know, uh, like, to get knowledge from here because they use it to destroy stuff, but, you know, Ang kind of told a white lie, but still he was mad and, like, you know, the whole place went down, all that stuff, so, yeah, that was that. So, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number 11 of after the last airbender book two so yeah all right i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> all right Like, the main problem here is actually tracking down Appa. Because if they're able to track him down properly, like those people that kidnapped Appa are, I don't think they're that much strong, so they'll be able to get him back quickly. Unless and until, uh, I don't know. Yeah, okay, let's take this out. Yeah. So yeah, as I was saying, so the main problem here is tracking up, up or down and hopefully they are able to find him quickly because after that it's, it's quite an easy method to get him back because we have Toph, Katara, Aang, Sokka, like you know, like so many people and these like the people who actually kidnapped Appa were chasing like you know, basic robbers I think. So yeah, they, they, they won't pose much problem. The, Problem here is at tracking him down. Oh yeah, who knows? Ah, oh, God. Oh, okay. The desert. Oh my God, a storm is coming. This is bad. Okay, hang. Come on, Ang! Oh. Oh, the sandbenders. Oh God. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. That. Oh boy. Yeah, he can, he can like, oh no. Where? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's with Iroh? 
Oh yeah, his. Come on, don't make those noises. <laughs> Oh, someone's coming. Whoa, who the? Are this. Wait, they know him? Oh, the, the Fire Nation people. Whoa! Damn. Wow, they have all types of weapons. Rough rhinos. Hmm. Oh wow, as I was saying. Yeah. Spear, bow. Um okay. <laughs> yeah, she is important. Yeah. <laughs> Oh! Oh, nice! Woo! Heh! <laughs> oh! Nice! Look at that! Oh god! Yeah, I was kind of struggling here. There you go! Nice! Yeah. Oh, this this person. Ooh. Smoke screen. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, we need some thing, some people like that. Oh, maybe he has some. Oh, that gave him an idea. Okay, maybe he has some people. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh at that. I... Okay. Oh, three drops. Not drop, but mouthful. Bump guy. No, that's a that's a mirage, I think. Oh, maybe not. That's a cactus. You can eat it, I think. Yeah, you you can. Oh no! It maybe it has some hallucinogenic. Yeah. <laughs> kind of alcoholic or something. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> Momo. Yeah. <laughs> Saka! <laughs> Alright. Good question, Saka. <laughs> Damn. He's also struggling, you know, like he, do he also doesn't have water and anything. Oh boy, they had a vehicle, like they can go. Oh boy. Wait, Ang is in di that direction? Oh. Yeah, right. Yes, definitely. Oh, Saka. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, my God. This is those people.
What? Are you crazy? What is wrong with this guy? Oh no. Yeah, you're going to get <laughs> you're going to get destroyed. Damn, they're They don't even know which direction to go. Oh, Aang is here. Oh boy. That's true, you know? Like, where can they go even? Yeah, Saka's out. Maybe we can. Um, wait, what? What are those? And it's, it's going to get cold, you know, if it go becomes night. <laughs> and or tail, you know, hold hands or tail. Whoa, what the? Those are like hornets. Uh, they need to make camp. I don't know. Don't they don't even have water like what oh my god Ah Oh there is okay Oh <laughs> Oh yeah <laughs> Um <laughs> oh my god, this is funny. Oh, oh god. Star. Oh, okay. Or uh, maybe not. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, who? No, that that old man, I think. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, clever. Oh, this is the lotus, yeah, the lotus style. Is this some kind of a password or something? Maybe not. Damn, they're quick. Wow! Wow! Wait, oh, it... Uh, it it was some kind of a password, okay. <laughs> this some kind of secret uh, br brotherhood? Oh god, these guys. Yeah, for you! What? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Huh. Huh. 
Wow. Yeah. Within this time, they'll, yeah, they'll run away. <laughs> Fools. Oh, nice, Momo. <laughs> True. Oh. Um. Oh God. Saka still. No, that's a cloud. Oh God. Oh. Okay. Oh boy. Whoa. Oh, yeah. okay. Did I get the water? I think so. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Oh! Wait, was that a rock? Boat? Whoa, whoa, what the? Oh, wait! Or uh, maybe it's not work. <sighs> okay. Okay, it is some kind of uh, group or brotherhood or something. Grandmaster? I think so. <laughs> uh, he'll learn. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. True. Whoa. <laughs> yeah and we can get to know where Appa is from there uh, no one's here god <laughs> wow Wait, there's like little holes in this <laughs> yeah. Don't eat stuff from. Oh my god, Saka! <laughs> what? <laughs> well. Oh no, maybe those hornets. Oh god. It's like, oh, there's a hive.
My god, the creatures in this show. Damn, huge. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> you still <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, now Momo God. Like everyone's like kidnapping people here. The people, the the insects. Damn. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh no. Okay. Oh, there you go. Um, Momo can't fly, can't he? There you go. <laughs> yeah, he's mad. Okay. Damn. Whew. Uh, let's go. Nice. Oh yeah, maybe you can do this. Wait. Oh, Toph did not do that. I thought that was Toph. Where's Appa? <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay, they got the correct information, that means. Hmm. No. Oh. oh god, those guys. Yeah, and you stole our bison. Wow. Wait, what? Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Is in there? Oh. Ha, <laughs> they were inside those vases. Yeah, well, your tip is wrong. Um. Come on, like you, you broke the door. Compensate that. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, but even if it didn't belong to him, what the hell? Oh my god! Oh! Oh! 
Oh god, yeah, this is bad. Ah, <sighs> uh, what the hell? God, this is a mess. <sighs> All right, um. Okay, this episode, uh, first of all, like, uh, obviously, like, <clears throat> Aang's behavior is just, uh, what do you call it, justifiable, because, like, you know, like, the only person that he had, not per person, yeah, person, the only, uh, you know, pet person, whatever, partner he has is, uh, who, like, he, you know, who was from, who has been with him from the beginning, it's Appa and now because of that obviously the amount of look on it attachment that he has for appa is immense so like even though he i'm sure he realized that like no one can do anything in that situation uh, neither could Toph do anything like like you know neither they because they were inside the uh, the building so, but even though, even though he knew that, he kind of lashed out on everybody because, like, you know, like, human emotions, like, nothing can be done. So, <clears throat> yeah, so now, okay, now, thankfully, we at least know where we should go because before this, like, we were, we were in a very messy situation, like, there was no Appa, we could not go anywhere, it's a, it was in the middle of the desert, we don't know where Appa is, and we ourselves cannot get out of the desert by just walking. So, at least now, we have a few things, few information. Number one, we know where Appa is supposed to be. Number two, we can probably get out of this desert, because I guess these people will help us to get out from here. And, uh, like, we can be on our way to Basing Se to go and get Appa back. And uh, so, like, damn, like, everyone is, what do you call it? Like, you know, everyone is collecting, like, everyone is going to Ba Sing Se. Like, um, Luko, Iroh, they're going to there. Um, Aang and his crew are going there. And, like, you know, the, 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 the information that they got and where they were supposed to go was also Ba Sing Se. So everything's, like, kind of converging in that one place. So, yeah, something big is going to happen there. <laughs> like uh yeah so <clears throat> so i'm guessing in the next episode we'll, we'll be setting out for passing say and uh yeah okay uh, uh this is a kind of <laughs> like a kind of a weird uh in a way you know episode because i'm saying weird because the comedic section <laughs> were so hilarious and at the same time like you know we can we know that this is no time to actually laugh because it was a very <laughs> what can i say uh concerning situation like how are we going to get out of this place where is appa what are we supposed to do and then again momo gets captured for a little bit you know there's no water like you know like what should we do and Toph cannot use her uh, earth bending because of the sand you know so many things at the same time so you know and and in the middle of it Saka is you know hallucinating and saying weird stuff so it's like it's, it's hilarious but at the same time like you know like it's kind of concerning the whole situation like like there's one scene where like you know Saka is kind of like you know saying weird stuff and freaking out and then in the next scene we suddenly see like Aang is kind of depressed and you know like one time we were laughing and suddenly we see Aang and like we realize that oh my god yeah like this is no time to laugh so that's why I'm saying like it's kind of a weird episode 
<laughs> like we don't know what to feel like you know whether to laugh at l- looking at saka or whether to f- like you know feel depressed at the situation so <laughs> yeah but the comedy was on point i loved that i i really loved aftas comedy you know like it, it's great it's one of the best and the like you know it's it's very witty and it's very well executed like comedy like you know like like comedy if it is well executed it increases the com- comedic effect and i think aftas does it very good very well like it is on point and it's not like like same cliched jokes it's 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 very like you know intelligent and very you know well thought out jokes <laughs> and i really love that so <laughs> yeah anyways um so yeah this episode um so yeah ang obviously like you know like losing uh, the only partner he has had for so so many years you know his only like one friend um he started lashing out at everybody and i'm sure he himself realized that but unfortunately like you know you cannot control human emotions and uh, yeah he started like you know he's be- started becoming a little bit cranky and you know mad at stuff but yeah and uh that was what was happening with ang the thing that was happening with um airo and zuko is now now airo like it's it's interesting to see that the whole thing that he said before in one of the episode of, about the lotus style it, it has some deeper meaning and significance here where we actually see that there's i'm guessing a whole group with like some kind of a secret society or something here which probably has some information and, he, and that guy said like you're the grand so he's the grandmaster of this place or something i think so airo so but yeah but uh yeah and then we see that as like airo goes in and after he comes out he has all the information i'm guessing about what's happening and what not so they know that they should go to basing say and uh, yeah so <clears throat> yeah that was that and then the, the whole thing with those two people from toffs uh, like you know like father sent them those two guys and i can't remember the uh the, the rowdy guy's name <laughs> you know the guy who kind of like you know aggressive overly aggressive that guy i can't remember his name but he yeah he <laughs> he he's basically sabotaging their own efforts you know the other guys is always like you know telling him that calm down like we should do this calmly no he goes into the whole st- situation and messes it up thankfully because if he was not there i'm guessing <laughs> you know um zuko and airo would have been in a bigger problem because the other guy is kind of calm and is taking correct decisions according like you know to their goals but the other guy is messing everything up so thank god he's there because he is actually sabotaging themselves and actually making it a lot more difficult for them to uh like you know track down ang and uh zuko and airo as well so now they're like they're trying to do two things now well the first thing they're trying to do is get uh toff back and then then the other thing they're trying to do is get um zuko and uh airo and i can <laughs> i can understand what's going to happen after this they're probably going to try to do this in like they're going to go to i'm, I'm i don't know how they'll be able to get to know that they get, they're going to as basing say but they'll probably realize that in due time so after they realize that they'll, they'll also probably go to basing say and at that time in basing say i'm guessing ang's crew and zuko and i i they'll also be there so <clears throat> now they're trying to do two things at the same time trying to like you know capture ang uh, capture toff and trying to capture zuko and airo as well so yeah they're going to have a problem there because uh <laughs> I don't know like maybe we'll see Zuko and Aang again working together. Who knows? Like you know both of them are going to the same place and there's this one two people who are actually trying to capture them both so you know the enemy's enemy is your friend or something like that. I don't know. So that might happen. We'll see. And uh, yeah and, and we'll also have to go and find Appa. Um we've we've not seen uh Azula for quite a few episodes I think. Yeah. no not quite two episodes hmm. yeah two episodes so she probably pop up after in one or two episodes i'm guessing 
<laughs> with her more evil plans or <laughs> I don't know but yeah okay now after that like you know like they get to know that they're in Basing say Aang and his crew finds out that boat thing uh, or whatever that was and they reach the what was the name of okay just what, how did the guy address themselves? Sandbender. Hami tribe. Okay, um, so they're sandbenders. Is this some kind of a uh, branch to um, earthbending? Because you know, sand is supposed to be earth in a way. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Like, for example, lightning bending, you know, it's kind of, I'm guessing, a branch of fire bending. So, I'm guessing this is also kind of a branch of earth bending, just like how healing is a probably a bunch, a branch or a sub power of water bending. I don't know, maybe. So, yeah, I'm guessing sand bending is also something like that. But here, um, this guy here, the guy who I'm guessing the other guy called father i'm guessing he's like the leader or something um he has no idea like something like this happened Th that means those that guy th his son and the other people i'm guessing they went on their own and kidnapped appa and stole him my god like i don't know like i don't know what their circumstances are like you know like obviously the thing that they did is wrong but like I don't know like if they did it for just some like getting some money that's despicable because you know like they just stole someone's you know friend just for that and yeah but from, from the look of the looks of the father I'm guessing he has no idea this happened and <clears throat> He, is, he seems pretty righteous because he was kind of angry at them for stealing the Hami uh, tribe's thing. And uh, yeah, and, 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 the, <clears throat> and the son, like, Toph was able to uh, recognize him because obviously, like, you know, his, her hearing is pretty good. And yeah, and Aang got mad, obviously, rightfully so. He went into his Aftar state and Katara calms him down. <clears throat> so, because, uh, like, yeah, like, I don't know, like, I, I'm sure we're again going to get more information in the next episode. Why that guy kidnapped Appa and what, like, you know, what was his, why did he do that? Like, that's the main question here. I'm guessing they just did it for like you know getting some money or something yeah that must be it that's really not good so yeah and now Appa is in passing say so like I'm, I'm I hope that these people actually take us to passing say because like that's something they should definitely do because they like you know made so much problem for us and they they should definitely like help us to actually get him back or something and um the money that they got you know from selling appa i hope they give that money back to uh, like like money to us so that we can go buy him back or something i don't know or yeah well, let's see let's see in the next episode what happens and uh, yeah, Alright, so that was episode uh, number 11, 11, yeah, 11, so, okay, I'll be starting episode number 12, so, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is a preference, and let's get started, this is episode number 12 of Avatar The Last Airbender, book 2, so, let's start the countdown, 3, 2, 1, go! Hmm. <clears throat> 
Hmm, <clears throat> okay. I think I sh Yes. All right, let's see. So probably reach Basing say mm, this episode or probably the next episode. I'm guessing in this episode only because it. Yeah, let's let's just wait for it. <clears> hmm. <throat> <sighs> Okay. The serpent's pass. Right. Okay, they give him a map. What? Wait, what's happening? Um, aren't aren't they supposed to be at? <laughs> yeah, that's convenient. Okay, thank God, Appa is calm now. I thought he would still be depressed or something. Thank God, serpent's boss. Yeah. Ah, come on, sucker! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can get him back. Um, and getting Appa back as well. Who are you? Oh, are these? Wait. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Wait, so how are we supposed to go there? Oh. I'm guessing... Uh, I don't know. Okay, they're here, so... Hmm. Okay. Wait, the name of the episode is Serpent's Pass, so I'm guessing... Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, what the? Wait, where did he come from? Oh, great. Yeah. I'm guessing he's trying it. I don't trust this guy. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Don't fall for his... Oh, great. Oh. I'm sure he realizes that they're... Or maybe not. That they're from the... I don't think he realizes that they're from the Fry Nation. Oh my god, it's a poor guy. The cabbage guy. Isn't it? Oh no, his cabbage is on again. Oh. 
Poor, poor guy. Passports? Uh, <laughs> 50 avatars a day. Oh my god. Um, oh my god. Yeah. Whoa, is that some kind of a, yeah, VIP, there you go, <laughs> it is your place, right, <laughs> four, yes, so official, Yes. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, yeah. Wait, is that? Oh. I didn't recognize her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <you're> right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah. What? Um Will she listen? Oh God! What the? Ugh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's the only way I can see. Okay, so Zuko are going through the ferry, I'm guessing, and they're going to the first certain pass. How? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? Um. Oh no. Hmm. Damn, it's a... Uh... Wow. Oh, oh! Oh, nice. Haha! <laughs> yeah. Oh, no! Ha! 
Ok. Yeah, Toph is here. Not no need to worry. Uh <laughs> Okay, let's go. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh! <laughs> god. <sighs> oh boy. Now they're up to something again. Jet. I don't trust that guy. There we have food. Nice. All right. Nice. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Like both are extremities. Whoa. Suki uh. also means moon. I, th I think I said this before, like both Yue and Suki, their name is somehow connected to the moon. Yeah, I'm like, because of uh, Yue, I think. Yeah, Yue. talking about um no you're dense <laughs> okay um oh no the moon okay Wait, what? Wait, really? Oh, I also didn't realize that. He doesn't talk, does he? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh really? He is is he Oh is is he really regretting it? That's good then. Okay, that's good. Alright, then that's good. I thought he did not like alright. Hmm. Or maybe not. I don't know. Uh and I think I think he really otherwise why would he say that I made some mistakes in the past? <sighs> okay.
Whoa. That's why the serpent's pass. Yeah, she can... Oh, nice. There you go. Damn, the control. What's with Dolph? Okay, Momo, don't! Oh no! Uh, okay, thank God. Ooh. Oh! My God! Okay, nice. Yeah, there's Earth underneath. Yeah, we could have done this, couldn't we? Or... Oh boy, now there's a... Is that a seahorse? Or a dragon? <laughs> yes! Oh boy. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Ooh. Oh nice. Yeah, we need to get out. Of yeah. Wow. Okay, freeze it. Or I don't know. Oh, nice. There you go. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, this is ice. Oh, no. Oh, run. Uh. Mm. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, she can't even do it, the earth bending. And she can't see. Oh my god, this is scary, you know? She can't see, she can't feel. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, all right. Woo. Okay. The serpent has had enough. He's like, nope, not worth it. All right. Ooh. Don't jinx it. Oh. <laughs> no, Saka. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright. Nice. Oh, he realized it. Oh, never mind. I want to trust him, but I don't. I don't know. Oh! 
Sucker! <laughs> Come on, eh? Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Mm. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Wait, she's Yeah, wasn't it? Oh, really? Okay, okay. Yeah, it makes sense, you know. <laughs> Uh. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> um, people are watching here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And we're here, Boston say, damn that, yeah, that wall. I can understand why, like, you know, um, Iro was unable to actually bypass this. Wait. Wait, what? Oh no! It's a Fire Nation thing. That's what they were making. They were saying that they were making something. Oh God. Ah, problems after problems. What the? Wait, this up. Okay. Okay, that's the end. And uh... <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> here, uh, Ank was able to kind of get his. Hmm, what do you call it? get his uh what do you say they call that uh, was able to calm himself down again and he was able to th start thinking rationally because in the first part of this episode here he was still kind of like you know going too like you know thinking too much about stuff and he was thinking that yeah i should probably not think uh like you know too much about appa because i endangered my friends here so he tried to not think about Appa that much. Unfortunately, it did not work. Like, you know, like it, it, it's not supposed to work that way. Like human feelings, like it, it cannot, nothing can be done. So by the end of it, thankfully he realizes that whatever he was doing both the times, it was like ex extreme. It was both of them were extremities of the spectrum. So he, like, you know, like he realized that and he, you know, he's definitely going to save go and save Appa, but that does not mean that he will uh you know not listen to anyone and just like you know kind of go uh you know like you know do stuff like that like lash out at others and um you know, kind of overreact like he realized that by the end of it that he should keep his like you know main target as getting Appa back but at the same time if stuff 
happens, he should also keep an eye out on that as well. For example, the last scene where we see where he sees the drill and he says that, sorry, Momo, like, we should, like, you know, like, Appa, like, Appa will have to wait a little bit longer. So, you know, like, if this was, like, before, you know, when he was just so crazy looking for Appa, he probably would have just ignored that and tried to go and try to find Appa. But now, like, you know, like, as he said, like, you know, he's filled with hope again. And now he realizes that there's a time and place for everything. And if he sees someone in danger and like you know he should definitely go and protect them because that's not only his duty as an avatar but as a duty as a human being so okay all right so here uh okay the first scene i was really surprised when i saw like you know ang <coughs> kind of laughing and like you know katara and all of them kind of having fun i was like oh my god did i like start some other episode or something like what's happening here like in the previous episode, he was all depressed and went completely, you know, uh, out of control. And now suddenly he's laughing. I, I really thought, I thought that I, I, maybe I like, you know, started some different episode or what. But then, like, you know, like, then we saw that, nah, he's, he's just kind of suppressing his own emotions. And kind of forcing himself to, like, laugh and all. And, uh, yeah. All right. Okay, that and now a new character pops up here, Jet. So I really don't know how to feel about him. Like the thing that he did previously was, yeah, was not good. Like you know, not correct at all. And like I thought that he was probably still the same, but by his conversations, I feel as if he. He realized that whatever he was doing was wrong or something. But I still cannot really trust him because I don't know, like his you know, his like he himself said that I realized my mistake, past mistakes, so I'm trying to become a different person. And um but at the same time the way he was kind of like you know like the show was kind of zooming on on his face, <laughs> like that's suspicious you know like usually like animes and like not only animes all tv shows does this tv shows or movie like, whenever there's like some person who is kind of thinking of something else and saying something else you know they kind of zoom in onto their face and like kind of stay still for a little bit they kind of did that towards jet i i don't know if that was to throw ourselves like, you know to, throw us off or maybe that is something that implies something i don't know but I'll take his word for it now. He says that he is changed. He is, you know, like he has become a different person. He wants a second chance. I'll believe that because, you know, these people here, like um, Iroh and Zuko, you know, like they, they're just people that he met on this ship. So he doesn't really have any reason for like lying to them if he really did not change. You know, why would he even lie to them then? Like, that's why I'm saying that I'm thinking that okay maybe he really did change and whatever he said at that moment was something that came from his heart. So yeah, I'll, I'll like you know I'll kind of take his word at like, you know just like he said. So but like you know we need to keep an eye out for especially in the next episode because I don't know what his plan is after going to Ba Sing Se. So yeah. Okay so. Okay, so that was that, and okay, we met, meet another character here, uh, which we met quite a long while ago, Tuki, and he like helped us get you know reach Va Sing Se, and uh, now obviously Saka's uh, you know way he was kind of behaving was pretty justifiable because of how he lost Yue before, and that's why he's kind of freaking out in each and everything and especially which is regarding suki and uh, yeah so okay so hopefully like you know like everything goes well after this and like i thought like maybe suki was going to join us in this whole thing uh even after this like you know like we'll go to bai sing we'll fight together or something 
but she just came here like I, I was kind of a little bit surprised when he she just said that yeah I'm, I'm just going with you to the uh, through the serpent's pass like said like you know and i was really surprised i thought that okay like she is the type of a person who is very dutiful you know as far as i could understand uh, watching her for the few episodes that she was in you know so i was really surprised that she just like decided to yeah like go with saka uh, leaving all his her duties behind so but kind of makes sense by the end of it where she says that i just came here to you know um keep an eye out <laughs> keep an eye out on for uh, for you <laughs> and like you know like if she said that before Osaka would have probably said that no you don't need to do that I will go you know on our own but that's why she like kind of like you know said that nah I just want to go with you like travel with you guys and now that she they're here and she said told the truth <clears throat> and uh, yeah and uh Few things happened here. One thing I'm kind of concerned about is um, Toff. Toff showed the the thing, the, the 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 official thing that she had with her. You know that proves that she's the, one of the. Uh, I can't forget the I forget the family's name. You know, like that kind of proves that she's their daughter. And. The thing that I'm concerned about is those two people are actually track trying to track them down. I'm sure they'll be here, you know, trying to find them. And if they ask the lady who was in the reception, she'll probably tell them. Like, you know, like and they'll I I think that's how they're going to realize that they're in Ba Sing Se. You know, and then they'll like start like journeying to Ba Sing Se or something going on yeah that's probably what's going to happen because that thing that Toph showed is one of the biggest clues for to track them down where they are and I'm sure they're going to come here and actually trying to track track Toff down and they'll like you know realize that they're in Ba Sing Se so yeah that's probably what's going to happen I'm not sure I'm just guessing but All right, and we know why it's called the Serpent's Pass. <laughs> and it's interesting that they had a lot of ways to actually go past that place. Like, you know, like Katara can use water bending to kind of, you know, make a little pocket in the water and they can go in that way. Katara can freeze the water. You know, I, th I think freezing the water was a better way, method to actually go. And there was another way that he could have done it is, um, uh, well, uh, tough. Toph could just use her earth bending to, you know, make a little bridge and go. I don't know why she did not do that because I think that's like the most safest way they could have uh, crossed it. But I'm guessing that would probably kind of mess the place up, the natural way that things are, you know, like like ice making ice is probably not going to mess the whole place up because ice melts, you know. It's, it's going to stay there for quite a while and then it's going to melt and it'll be, become water again. But making like a stone, like, you know, a earth bridge is kind of would, would probably like, you know, mess with the whole like ecosystem or something. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure. But yeah, I think that was why she did. Or maybe she, I don't know. Maybe she was not able to. Oh, may, maybe she did not do that because she had to. Yeah, she had to be in contact with the earth or something because you know when she was walking underwater she was contact with the earth so when they were drowning all of them she used the earth to kind of boost herself up and <clears throat> yeah probably and uh, okay and the serpent comes in they fight the serpent off <laughs> to open my, oh my god that was really kind of scary for Toff I'm guessing because water like drowning in water is I'm guessing one of the most scariest thing in itself but at the same time Toff cannot see so that's even more scarier she has no contact with any like you know solid ground and it's like water everywhere and damn that's freaking scary especially for Toff so and she can't swim like that's another thing so yeah, Suki was there and helped her up, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then the baby, you know, 
uh Qatar delivered the baby and it was nice to see uh what do you call it um it was nice to see that Aang got his hope back you know looking at the little kid and uh, he realized that whatever he was doing you know was something that he should not do he should not like kill his emotions completely like that's not what something he should do you know then just as Katara advised him before that you know like you don't need to go into the extreme of both things you can think of Appa you know and like you know like, and continue on and then when it, the time comes for you to save Appa go and do that and at the beginning he was like all like yeah thank you like you know thank you Katara like and then like went away but now he actually realizes that he was doing going towards the extreme of things and they hugged and everything is good now so yeah and then they're in Ba Sing Se so <clears throat> Ba Sing Se is yeah like the, looking at the the wall there like we can kind of realize like why you know the siege was such uh what do you call it like tough thing to actually do for Iroh and also the shock of losing his son kind of made him like you know retreat so this is huge the wall is huge and but now I'm guessing uh, the Fire Nation made a new thing the, the drill thing that they made and so they're not going to try to climb it up they're just going to you know plow through the wall or something that's what they're going to do I'm guessing and uh, yeah that's a problem and Aang I'm sure Aang like you know Aang is going to go and try to stop them and hopefully Katara, Toph and all of them are able to reach them in time you know and start helping Aang it's, kind of, it's still a little bit of a distance from the place like you know uh, Katara and the crew are there it's probably going to take a little while but hopefully they'll reach there soon enough and help Aang uh, defeat the drill thing and then we can go and look for Appa yeah and the whole eclipse thing he can then like you know go and talk about that as well inform them about that yeah a lot of things I'm, I'm guessing this is going to continue for two or three more episodes because there's a lot of things left to do like I'm, like, uh, I'm guessing soon um, Zuko and Iroh will also reach there with Jet and I wonder what's like if they meet what's going to happen like Katara was pretty pissed at Jet and yeah I still kind of don't trust him but I'll take his word the way he's saying that yeah I have changed so I believe that for now and you know let's see what he does all right I think that was it was there anything else no I think that was it yeah so that's it guys that was my reaction to after the last airbender uh, uh, book 2 episode number 11 and 12 so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed be sure to comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know I'll check them out so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of After the Last Airbender. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.